you guys so today I'm doing a New Year's makeup tutorial that is on my face right now because I just finished doing it and it just features kind of like brighter lips but you can definitely go with nude lips if you want just nude lips don't look good on me so I tend to avoid them and then the eyes are a combination of metallic shades on the top and bottom lash line they're pretty neutral but still really dramatic for New Year's so I thought that would be kind of cool and I've wanted to do this kind of tutorial for a long time so I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's get started. So we're going to start off with the eyes because there might be some glitter fallout. So first I'm just priming my entire eye area. Then I'm taking a piece of scotch tape and putting it on my the back of my hand first to take off some of the stickiness. And then I'm lining it up with the outer corner of my eye and the edge of my eyebrow. And then moving it out a few millimeters to give it some space. And then I'm priming my eyes again with a gold shadow base all over the um, lid and crease and then I'm taking a matte brown color and placing that in my crease and then I'm taking a gold shadow and packing that onto the lid to give it very intense gold color in the center and then I'm using kind of like a bronze tarnished gold color from the outer corner out to the tape it's a bit darker and then I'm taking a silver eyeshadow base and placing that all along my lower lash line to prime for the shadows under there and then I'm using a silver shadow and putting that on the outer three quarters of my lower lash line so not all the way into the tear duct but right over that silver base and then I this is optional but you can take another matte shade and put it under the silver just to um, kind of blend it out a little more and then I'm taking this really light reflective shade and putting that all over my inner corner tear duct area on the top and bottom lash lines in a little bit further and then I'm using a shimmery black shadow and putting it in like a three shape um, into my crease top lash line and lower lash line a little bit and then I'm using this shimmery yellowish color as a highlight for my brow bone and then I'm going to remove the tape and blend everything out with a fluffy brush blend 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 and then I'm also grabbing some more of that matte brown shade and using that to blend where the tape was so it doesn't look like a really harsh line. Then I'm taking a clear gel and setting my eyebrows with it and with a black pencil eyeliner I'm going to line my upper and lower water lines, inner rims, and also get into the inner corner and don't forget about the space between your top and bottom lashes because that really makes your lashes look fuller. Then I'm just curling my lashes and applying a mascara, and you can use false lashes if you want, but I chose not to, and just remember to wiggle the brush to get more volume for that dramatic party look. So the eyes are finished, and that is a preliminary look at them. And then I'm just taking a makeup wipe to clean up any glitter fallout, or you know, if anything got too crazy on the lower lash line, to clean it up before face makeup. Then I'm taking my favorite um, foundation primer and I actually like to apply this with a foundation brush because it distributes the product really well and I'm just glad I found a use for those flat type foundation brushes because I didn't have one before. Then I'm concealing my under eye area to bring some lightness and brightness to it and that rhymed, yay. Um, and then I'm using my foundation and just applying that with a big powder dense brush, dense powder brush, that's what I meant because you want to have kind of a flawless face finish for this since it's a nighttime look. So I'm just blending that all over my face and into my neck to get rid of any import, well not get rid of them, but cover up any imperfections. And then if there are any that the foundation didn't completely cover, I'm just dotting my concealer over that again and blending it with the big dense brush. And then I'm taking a translucent powder and shaking it out into the lid and then tapping that powder all over my face with a powder brush and then just blending it to set all of the foundation and concealer and you can also use the setting spray but honestly I forgot. Then I'm taking this brownish nude rose blush and contouring my face by going from my ear to the corner of my mouth and I'm also blending it up onto the bottom of my cheekbone so it's like a contour and a blush all in one and also on my temples and then I'm also contouring my nose a little bit this is a very versatile color. I like it. Then I'm taking a shimmery highlight shade. I'm basically applying that as I would a blush. I'm putting it all over my cheekbones and also up above my eyebrows to bring some glowiness into my face and also on my cupid's bow. 
Then I'm moisturizing my lips with a strawberry lip balm, but you know, any lip balm will do. I just like this one. Then, um, you can do nude lips if you want, but I prefer to not. So I'm taking first a lipstick that is pretty similar to my natural lip color and applying that onto my lips. And then this darker shimmery buxom gloss I'm going to apply all over my lips. And the eyes and lips together might be a little much for some people, but personally I like it. But feel free to do something else. So that is the finished look, and now it's just some posing, so I will just give it to the outro. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys had a great day and enjoyed this tutorial and have an awesome new year. Throw confetti that I don't really have. Um, okay, yeah. So, happy new year and...